Hey guys, Sid from PlayStation Blog here. Today we're checking out Murasaki Baby. That's a new PS Vita game that's coming out this fall from developer Ovo Sonico. It's a very quirky, slightly eccentric adventure game that makes great use of PS Vita's front touchscreen and rear touchpad. Let's take a look. A couple of key things to keep in mind about this game is it's very interested in, in having the player form an emotional bond with the main character, and the main character, as you may guess, is named Baby. You'll be leading her uh, through the levels using PS Vita's touchscreen, the front touchscreen. You have to kind of keep tabs on this balloon. You don't want to fly away or pop at any time or it's uh, curtains for Baby. Here's uh, one of the first puzzles in the game. It's something that will reoccur throughout the game. You'll see it happen more than once. And one thing I want to note is I'm not using the analog sticks. I'm not using the buttons. I'm not using the L or R triggers. I'm actually exclusively using the front touchscreen right now. And I'm going to move this light bulb over to the second hook to scare away all those nasty, nasty bats. And do it again. So obviously you can just see this very interesting art style. Oh, I see another pulsing heart balloon here. I'm going to stab it, and uh, we'll see what that does here in just a minute. It actually gave us a new ability that makes use of uh, PS Vita's rear touchpad. So now I'm in this sort of nightmare world, a scare world, and I can tap the right touchpad to uh, have scary jack o lanterns pop out and scare anyone that's in the uh, vicinity. So just really cool, uh, dare I say, Tim Burton-esque sort of backgrounds here with these tentacles and the creepy mist. And it's really interesting, very uh, unique. So here, uh, Tentacle Boy, as I've been kind of calling him, he's uh, making life difficult for babies. So uh, I think we need to put a little scare into him. Woo! Get out of here. Now, baby is uh, free to make her way right up the ramp. Uh oh, we got some, some bogeys here. So these guys are gonna try and pop my balloon. I'm just gonna tap the front touchscreen to defeat them. So here's a, a small puzzle. If you try to walk up to it, uh, baby actually won't jump on her own. You have to swipe to make her jump over. And uh, she seems pretty pleased with herself there, bouncing around a little bit. So let's try the next one. This is one of the things I think that's, that proves to be interesting about this game. She's, she's kind of learning a little bit, uh, a little bit of an AI routine going on there. She, uh, you know, I think this is designed to kind of increase the emotional connection between her and the player, um, where she's kind of, kind of running ahead a little bit of her own accord without me having to hold her hand. So here's another balloon, which dare I say is going to give me some, uh, some sort of newfangled ability. We'll find out soon. One of the things about this, there, there's no hook here, right? So I'm going to, a little spoiler for this puzzle, so you don't have to fret too much. I'm going to swap to the new background I uh, got from the last balloon I popped, which is this sort of windmill background, and that gives me some new mechanics, which is I rapidly touch the rear touchpad to uh, trigger a fierce wind that blows the light in and gets those bats out of the picture. So, there seems to be no clear way to progress here. I can't really drop down. Uh, baby's uh, man maneuverability is a little on the limited side, but I think I did pick up a new background here. I'm swiping my fingers on the rear touchpad, and uh, it looks like I can make it rain, so to speak. There we go. And, uh, well, I can't seem to pull Baby along, but I do see a sail, which makes me wonder if my wind ability might not come in handy here. And it's interesting using these different abilities in concert. It's actually really cool. I really like the mechanics. It's, it's refreshing to play a game that's so touchscreen oriented that's more than just sort of tapping or sliding. It's, uh, I think, an interesting way to interact with the environment. That was Murasaki Baby. It's coming exclusively to PS Vita this fall from developer Ovo Sonico. Let us know what you think in the comments. PlayStation.